Hey there, Robin from Enemy America here. I'm gonna try to keep this video short and to the point because I got nothing to edit with. Ah. We're gonna try to start a GoFundMe page because apparently Kickstarter needs like a business license or whatever. They don't consider us a business. I don't think we're a business. We just need a license number. So for now, we're gonna do a GoFundMe page. We also have a Patreon page if you guys wanna help us uh, support our podcast, our production to help us get some new equipment. Like, I, I desperately need a new laptop so I can start the uh, Top 32 Sexy Men and Women of Anime. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you need me to start Top 32 Sexy Men and Women of Anime, donate. That's just how it is right now because, like, I have everything on my hard drive ready to go. I just don't have a computer to work with. So please, 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 please donate when we get the GoFundMe page started. Uh, continuing on to, uh, today's episode of Sailor Moon Crystal, I believe it was episode 6, Tuxedo Mask. It showed that, like, Tuxedo Mask knows his stuff, like, he's really, really smart, and his plot was to spread the word about the Imperial Silver Crystal so that if he heard any clues, he can run towards it and try to grab it, but that made Luna and the others a little suspicious because, like, he's, they know he's out to try to find the Imperial Silver Crystal, and sure enough... The enemy takes advantage of the situation to drain their energy, and they all suspect Tuxedo Mask is behind it, but Usagi knows better, and she wants to go out there and help him. And a very smart plan to gather energy was done, thanks to Zoocyte, and of course, Zoocyte was in drag, and actually, I think Zoocyte changed his gender using dark magic, and she was fabulous. Zoocyte female fabulous. <laughs> I mean, he, she did that in the manga. I think he was wearing a wedding dress, but, uh, yeah. He, uh, used the rumor of the, uh, Imperial Silver Crystal to his advantage by, you know, talking about it and looks at the TV saying, Hey, people, find the Imperial Silver Crystal. Find the Imperial Silver Crystal. Or I kill you. And when he couldn't find it, he used um, the, everyone that was under his spell to gather energy from them. And that's when everybody tried to go in. And Tuxedo Mask is like, look, this is kind of my fault because the enemy took advantage of my plan. But needless to say, I'm looking for the Imperial Silver Crystal and I need your help. And I got no powers. Which I love that he admitted that. It's like, I, I can't do anything, I feel powerless, I need your help, and it's just a, Mamoru's just become my favorite character in this show, he is so fascinating, and he's, go he's gorgeous. Did you see him topless in that bed? Did you see him topless on that bed? <laughs> like you all did, mm -hmm. So now, that, if they do continue Sailor Moon Crystal to Sailor Moon Stars, giggity. Good to see Two naked baddies. <laughs> Moving on. Um, there was a slight hint of Zoocytic's Mercury because uh, Mercury and Zoocytic kind of fought the longest uh, compared to Jupiter and Mars. And they kind of stared at each other for a little bit, but it wasn't as good as Mercury, as uh, Mars and Jedi and Nephrite and Jupiter. I wish there was some, but I think uh, Zoocytic's just a little too... Fabulous to even notice anything, but I'm hoping there's gonna be some Zoocyte X Mercury in the future as well as Kunzite X Venus. I'm hoping for that uh, Mamoru X Usagi. They're just they're becoming way too adorable They are so cute. I just I can't help I can't help but just you know giggle when I see them They're all blushy when they're human and like um, <clears throat> when they're fighting together. They're just so adorable and the way that Mamoru confesses that he needs her and how, like, she believes in him. It's like, okay, you are becoming more of a real couple compared to the original show. And I love it. In the next episode, we get to uh, learn more about Tuxedo Mask, about his past, and how Usagi feels about him being Tuxedo Mask. And we're probably going to see Sailor V. Well, we saw her in this episode, but... Uh, she might be confronting the team in the next episode, probably. If they're going to follow the manga, I believe. Um, I, be I believe if they continue um, with the plot, then... I'm trying to remember. Like, follow me. <clears throat> in my collection, because I'm trying to save money. 
I uh, have like the first three volumes. If I find cheap copies of the rest, then I'm just gonna collect them one by one slowly. And I'm supposed to save money, but it's saving money. I can't help it. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think they're gonna. I think Sailor V is gonna join the crew in the next episode. And from what everyone's saying, they're like in my last video, they were saying they're like. Um, half of Salem and Crystal is going to be the the Dark Kingdom arc, and the next is going to be Black Moon Family. And I didn't want that because I want 26 episodes of each. But when I read the manga, the Black, the Dark, pff, I can't talk, the Dark Kingdom wasn't really in that long. I mean, heck, in volume three, halfway through, like, that's it. It's like two and a half volumes of the Dark Kingdom. Kingdom and the rest of volume three is the Black Moon family. So I guess in a way I wouldn't mind if the last 13 episodes was Black Moon family because yeah, they they it wasn't really a long uh, It wasn't really a long segment for the Dark Kingdom. They got to the point and if anything I think Salem and Chris is gonna keep to the point. So I'm looking forward to the next episode with more Tuxedo Mask and more Sailor Venus and the crew So can't can't wait for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, man. Uh, to finish up this video, let's talk about the animation of that episode. Oh, God. It's just as bad as episode two. Did you see how Tuxedo Mask was holding Uzagi? Like, she was, like, crouched over. I was kind of hoping that he would hold her, but he's, like, looking down at her. He's just like, you did, you did very well, Sailor Moon. It's like, he's, like, trying to, like, lean over her huge body or something. It was awkward. And did you see how he walked away? Like, how he does, like, his... Man, they walk, walk like a man. He didn't walk like a man. It was it was embarrassing. Did you see that? I wish I could show clips right now, but I, I need a computer to do that. So please help us donate. Go find me when it when it's up and running. Ellie is working on that video. All I got is my phone. Um, but the animation was very awkward. There were some scenes where like, um, like the proportion, the facial proportions were off, um, and. The an animation of him walking, the animation with him carrying her and holding on to her, it's very awkward. So for the Blu-ray release, I'm glad that they're touching up on these episodes to make the Blu-ray releases look a lot cleaner. So I'm very happy for that. And that just makes me want to buy the series even more. Money, money, money. Uh, but now i got to save up for a laptop. That's why I need cheap copies of Sailor Moon manga. But first, laptop. So when we have a GoFundMe page, and we have the Patreon page, we had our first donator, Andrea Murphy, so... <coughs> As I'm talking about Andrea, I think a bug just went down my throat. Good. I miss my... I miss my <coughs> computer, so I can edit that out, but that's just <coughs> funny footage for you. Hold uh, on, let me... God damn it. <coughs> One take wonder, that's just beautiful for you guys. There's just more stuff for you to laugh at me at. My closet's right behind me. I'm watching you. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, eight and a half minutes, so, uh, overall, it was a good episode, very romantic to see, uh, Usagi and Mama working together and they made it to the bedroom. That's what I wanted. But the animation was very bad, almost as bad as episode two, so I'm looking forward to the polished version for the Blu-ray release. Uh, coming up soon, I don't know what's coming up soon. It's supposed to be Top 32 Sexy Men and Women of Anime and Top 10 videos, but I have no computer. So, uh, when we have the GoFundMe page up, um, and also the Patreon video should be coming on soon, thanks to Shannon and Ellie. So, either with Patreon or GoFundMe, please help Anime America get new equipment. I need a computer in order to do Top 32 Sexy Men and Women of Anime, so please... Help us out. We thank you guys for your consideration and uh, stay tuned, Anime America. I'm just gonna push the little stop button right there. No, it's not. It's not there. It's there.